everyone. Today is Tuesday, October 4th, 2016, and joining me once again, Michelle Stores. Hiya. Welcome back to the show, Michelle. How have you been? <clears throat> Taller. Well, you're always taller than me. I can't help that. I mean, yes, we point that out every, See if I'm every back time here, you're here. We're good. Yes, if I'm yes. here, I'm too tall. Yes, we've had a busy week here on the show. I don't know Very if you're following following the show on Facebook. As much as I can. Social media. We had all kinds of. We blew up the internet last week. Yes. Uh, we played a game called uh, Speak Out. Now we shared this on our Facebook mm -hmm. Live last week. I had Jamie's story here. And we played this game. Now, I'll tell you, we had more comments about <laughs> this contraption. You know, people didn't know what it was. But you, what it is, is you put this in your mouth and you have to try to say something uh, on the cue cards. Mm -hmm. So, like, uh, I was trying to tell Jamie, Matt milked a cat... Uh, Matt goat. milked a goat masterfully. <laughs> and she could you not did? get that out from what I was saying. But we do make a good team because uh, we were feeding That's off right. of each other. And, uh, you know, so we're going to challenge maybe That's our junior awesome. vloggers at one of these points. That would be yes. so much fun. We'll challenge the kids and uh, see if they can come up and, and beat Jamie and I. Oh, we'll see. I think the junior vloggers will. <laughs> you think so? I don't <laughs> yes. know about that. Jamie and I were pretty good last week. Now, um... Also, I don't know if you saw in the headlines, you know, we've had really a shortage of rain. You know, we, yes, we, we have. have a little bit of a drought going on. I saw in the, the Daily Mail, who mm -hmm. promotes our show here every week. That's right. Daily Mail and Register Star. Check us out. Every week, they're on, we're on their Facebook page. I know. You're all over the place. It's so yeah. awesome. <laughs> uh, you know, we're on their Facebook page, and we're also on uh, their website. Mm -hmm. So you go to the Daily mm -hmm. Mail, uh, dot com and the Register Star dot com. Go to there. Is it .net? It's .net. <laughs> Excuse me, I apologize. <laughs> Just type in the, the Daily Mail and Register Star, you'll find it. Uh, but and go to our Facebook page, you know, and that's mm -hmm. where we have links to all that stuff. Right, right. Uh, but go there, and uh, you can check us out. I've had a lot of people stop me and say that they they watch it, my sh the show on the Daily Mail. You know, they go to the so main page; it's all the way at the You're bottom. So popular. Oh my goodness! I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, you know. <laughs> But anyway, I did see in the paper they had something about, you know, uh, a drought, you know, yes. and Catskill, yes. residents of Catskill are being asked to conserve their water, mm -hmm. you know, so we need some rain here now. I live up by the Alcove Reservoir, and it is the lowest I have ever seen it yeah. in 10 years that yeah, I've Yeah, they here. said they're down like 30%, yeah. I believe I read in the, in the paper. Uh, so we definitely need to save on the water. Now yes. we've got Hurricane Matthew coming up the coast. No, right here. Right here. Right here. Hurricane Matt is right here. But, you know, I don't think it's going to reach, you know, us yeah, here in New York. Uh, but we're going to get some of the, maybe the after effects, you know, some of the rain and stuff. Maybe Any rain weekend. is good for us yeah. right now. So, but hopefully our thoughts and prayers to all those people down yes. in the... Uh, the Caribbean The right Caribbean, yes. you know, Puerto Rico, that, that area really is yes. being hit. Yes. Yeah. And, of course, the people of Florida, we hope that it doesn't hit there. I'll tell you, Michelle, it's been it's been a, a long week of a political week, you know, with all the stuff yes. that you hear on the news with Holy the presidential cow. election. I can't wait till it's over with. You're uh, not the only one. <laughs> yes, it's really going crazy. Uh, but last week I had a, a busy week. I went mm -hmm. down to uh, Natasha Whitker. Yeah. She owns the New York restaurant. Uh, she had her one-year anniversary, so congratulations, Natasha. Congratulations. We actually did the show from there over the summertime. Yes. Did you watch yep. that episode? I watched oh. that episode. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry. <laughs> I'm all busy. Uh, yeah, so uh, we went down. We did the show from there over the summertime. Right. We're going to go back to Natasha's. Uh, you still owe me a date. Yes. You so, could, yeah, definitely. We'll go down there. There we go. Uh, and she actually is going to, the chef is going to come on the show Ooh. and do a little, you know, Peace with us. You're going to teach nice. us a couple things, share some, some behind the scenes in the kitchen, how we prepare I'm some food. I'm down for that. Yeah, so that would be a nice, a nice segment with Natasha. Had a nice celebration down there. Uh, she gave me a t-shirt. I forgot it, Natasha. I forgot the t-shirt. I'll have to share it on the show uh, next week. <laughs> but I have the show, uh, the uh, New York restaurant. She gave right. me a t-shirt. And then, of course, nice. you know, I'm, as I see these uh, nice fine ladies walking by, <laughs> you know... You know, I, I, I always, you know, throw my two cents in, you know, I see them coming by. They had a tray of Crown Royale vanilla, and they wanted Goodness. you to, you know, like taste testing. Well, hey, I'm always up for... You're always I'm up always for I'm always up for something. 
Matt doesn't know how to say no in some things. <laughs> so she, so the girl came over to me. She goes, "Would you like to sample?" I said, "Well, of course. Of course. You know, why not? You know, you're gonna you're, you're gonna give it to me. I'm gonna take it." <laughs> so anyway, uh, she came over. She gave me the little shot of whatever it was. It was like a vanilla type of okay. type of shot. Okay. Uh, it was very nice, very smooth going mm -hmm. down. So I said, "Well, what do I get for doing this?" I said, "Do I get a T-shirt?" So she had a T-shirt. <laughs> She had a little Crown Royale vanilla t-shirt. So you left with two t-shirts? Yes, I left with two t-shirts at New York Restaurant. You Amazing. always leave with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was, a, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, I was there. Heather Bagshaw was there. Uh, Rick Paulino, Village nice. Trustee. Nice. Dave Darling, Chief of Police, was down there. He's such a great nice. guy. You know, such we, a great guy. We don't, you know... We, we don't mess around around here with Dave Darling. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Jamie's father, by the yes. way. Oh, you yes. know that. Okay. I know that. I know. Yeah, so we had a lot of fun down there. A um, lot of people, though. That's a good thing. A lot of people were there for the anniversary. I saw our county administrator, Sean good. Broden. Good, good. Uh, yeah, it, was, it really was a, a fun time. Good. And this past Saturday, I don't know if you caught it on our social media sites, I attended the uh, grand opening of the community center. It's going, I did see that. You see that, yeah. Yes, that's exciting. <clears throat> I, I was, need that. Yeah, I was happy about that. And uh, Heather Bagshaw has sent me a message about it. She's our village president. She mm -hmm. sent me a message asking, you know, if I would go down there. And I said, absolutely. You know, awesome. I want to definitely check it out, support it, what we can share here on the show for the community. Right. And uh, it was very nice. Uh, Saturday night uh, from 8 until 11 o'clock. Wow. They have something for our Catskill High School students. Which is perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. Um, hang out, a safe place for them to be on a Saturday night. Um, you know, when I first went down there, funny story, uh, I was going, Heather that wasn't was there. Funny story. Yeah. <laughs> it's always, uh, stuff always happens to me. It, it never fails. It, it just, never it fails. It finds you. Right. It finds you. It, it's, it's just, it, it's amazing. But I go down there, and I'm and I had a park. First of all, there's no parking on Main Street, you know, because there's never parking no, on Main there's Street. so much stuff going on. So I had to go down to the one of the parking lots okay. across from the courthouse. Okay. So I said I can walk down. So I got out of the car, walked down, uh, go. I go to, to get to the community center. I don't see anybody in there. I'm saying where, where is everybody? So I get on the phone. I call Heather. I said, you know, Heather, are you sure you have the right night here? I don't see anybody in here. I walk past, I see Hudson Talbot. I don't know if you know Hudson yes, Talbot. Yes. I see Hudson Talbot in there. I said, what's he doing in there? What's he? So I, I went, walked past. I didn't go in. You know, I said, I don't know who's, if I'm in the right place. If I walk in, look like an idiot. So I, so I walked past and I walked up the street a little bit. I called Heather. She goes, yes, yes, it's starting 730. You got to be there. It was 730. I didn't see any kids. I didn't see nothing. I saw Hudson Talbot. That was it. So I decided, she goes, yes, go in there and find out. So I went in. They, oh, yes, they're getting ready. I saw, you know, the uh, Carl from the mm -hmm. Chamber of Commerce was there. Right, right. And so I go in and I said, well, you know, Heather is going to be late, you know. Okay. She's supposed to start at 7.30. So I get on the phone with her. I call her back. Yes, it's the right time. I'm here. I made it. I'm the only one there with Hudson <laughs> Talbot in the, in the Chamber of Commerce. So I go in there and uh, they said, well, how long is Heather going to be? I said, well, I don't know. I get on the phone. I call her up. Well, she's coming down the 9W from Cooksocket. She took a wrong okay. turn. Oh. That's what happens to me, too. So, mm -hmm. But then she got, I guess there was an accident on the 9W. Ooh. So then she was not going to make it on time. So right, right. the picture that we posted there, she wasn't in it, you know, because right. she was late. Right. But I'll tell you, it was, I, I was very impressed. Uh, it's run by the teenagers That's uh, down fantastic. there. Yeah, and they're going to have some good programs. I'm looking forward to sharing those programs here on the show for everybody. That's fantastic. And bringing that to everyone. So, very nice. And, of course, the after school still goes on. Right. So you right. can still go, the kids can still but go But this is great school. to have a good, safe place on a Saturday <clears throat> night Absolutely. to go to. That's Absolutely. really crucial for our community. Yes. Now, how about you? You've been busy. Been very busy. The, can we share any information about the high school musical this year? Or? It's happening. It's happening. We, it's we happening. Don't, we don't have an announcement about the We show? don't have an announcement no, yet. No, well, okay. it, it's it's just now October the 4th. Okay. okay well, yeah. um, Lorraine Ferrara is it, getting well, ready. She's, she's itching to get back on the show. <laughs> 
Um, we will have the announcement towards the end of the month okay. when I will reveal the show. Um, the only clue that I have told, and I bas I told everybody this the day after I closed Anything Goes, and that is, is that it will be a kid friendly show. Oh, good. Very so it's good. going to be a show that will hopefully encourage a lot of the younger students to come into the into the audience and see the show because it's, nice. it's a kid oriented show. Nice. Well, we'll have to have you back on here. I'm sure Amory Barkman, she's going to want to be back. John Rivers, you know, Lorraine Ferrara. All these people want to be back on this show here. So, well, you're a popular man. Yeah, I guess so. So uh, we'll definitely have to share that when it comes, yes. when it comes out. Yes, a couple more weeks, and then That's I promise. Every, okay. Everyone's been guessing. They've How are been the kids asking. doing? Really, really well. I saw My, them at the Mark Merrow uh, presentation. Yes, which Very was nice. amazing. Yeah, he's a great um, My oldest started high school. Yes. So I'm officially the mother of a high school student. Wow, unbelievable. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, but he's doing really well. Um, he's doing varsity sports now. Nice. So that's been a nice change. Um, my youngest started middle school. Wow. So I am officially a mom. We're getting old. Secondary. I am getting, We're old. getting old. My Michelle. stylist loves me because I see her every few months. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look great. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if you caught in the headlines here, the sports section of the Daily Mail, our uh, own yes. Brian Smith. Yes, Brian check Smith this out. right here. He, he's making headlines all over the place. Brian Smith, the Cats win the Patroon Medalist Tournament. Uh, and there they were, some of the members of the golf team with Brian. Uh, they That's won right. their trophy this uh, this past week. That's so, right. Great uh, congratulations job, guys. to Brian. You know, he's all over the place. He's over at Columbia Green. He he's is. with the, our school. He is. I don't, I don't, even I don't know how he does it all. I don't know either. Please. <laughs> he drives me crazy. Uh, now, we got Nancy Lee Pometeer coming on. That's here. right. Now, Heather Hoda couldn't be here. Heather mm -hmm. Hoda's in high demand. She's got soccer games with this, kids stuff with this. We got teaching <laughs> stuff over here. Mm -hmm. She's she's you know she's all over yeah the we place. couldn't book her today. So we do have Nancy Lee here. That's so we're right. gonna get ready for Nancy That's Lee right. product here for our cooking segment. So let's go to it. Awesome. Thanks Michelle for being here. Let's go to uh, Nancy. <laughs> Alright, so we finally made it here to the kitchen and we're here on the Live with Matt set with Nancy Lee Pomatier. Yes. Welcome back, Nancy. Thank you. Good to Teaching be back. Matt to cook. Again. Yes, again. He's doing really well too. Yes, this is the, the teacher teaching the teacher how to cook. And uh, we give a little shout out to Rachel Ray here. Uh, hopefully we'll make it on your show one we of these days. We love you, Rachel. We love you. There we go. Now here we want to come cook. That's right. We're gonna. They're gonna teach me how to cook on your show. So come on, Rachel. Yeah. Now what are we doing here today? Can we what say too? We miss Heather because normally Heather she's Hoda, right? Night. Heather Hoda. We mentioned that earlier in the show. Heather oh, Hoda sorry. couldn't be here. Uh, Michelle Stores had to leave, so that's why she's not here. So it's it's just you and I. Okay. So let's go through this now. Uh, what are we doing today? We you know explain to our viewers at home what you're making for us. We are making teaching me. Um, a very quick pasta dinner that is um, something that you can have for company and it looks like company food but it really doesn't take a lot of time or effort to do it. Okay. So um, we started by boiling up some herb chicken um, tortellini. Herb chicken tortellini. Right. Wow, and this is going to be an herb chicken tortellini with sausage. Uh, fresh sage and butternut squash. Wow. It's kind of an uh, Italian butternut dish. Butternut squash. Yeah. Right. I think it might be more of an, a northern Italian right, dish. Right, right. Right. Tuscany. Yes, there yeah. you go. From, from Mr. Italian here. He, he knows something. this stuff. That's it. <laughs> so, we um, right, boiled so, up the pasta. All right, so we got the pasta. Yep, yeah, and yeah. Um, we cut up a uh, butternut squash. I cut Love that up here. last night and all roasted right, it because I had to work today. So, right. um, it roasted in the oven, just a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Uh, cracked black pepper and fresh ground salt. Um, I actually use this pink Himalayan sea salt because it gives a wow. lot of nice flavor. Wow, pink Himalayan smells, smells very good. Right, and you just roast it in the oven um, about 375 for maybe a half an hour. It might not even need that long. Okay. And you can even brown it up a little more than that. I just was kind of in a hurry. All right, so we cut it up nice. Yep, okay. we're going to add that right to the pasta. So I'm All right, so we're going to add this in. Yep, all don't right, get so all dirty. Well, that's why we have our aprons on <laughs> Don't here, get folks. dirty. Yeah. Right, so and I don't want to get the tablecloth there. Usually no. you mess up my tablecloth. Every time you I come know. here, i got to get a different tablecloth. I can't help it. 
All right, so we're putting this on. All that in there. Just yep. dump the whole thing in. The whole in. thing, every bit of well, it. Well, you yep. put it in this pan here. We should have had it in a bowl. Well, no, because that's how you roast it. You roast, oh, you it, roast it in the oven on that pan. Okay, right, right, right. So we got it here. So get all that nice oil in there. See all that flavored yep. oil. It's all you good stuff. You can't see that, but that's all right. That's the tasty stuff. That's the tasty right. stuff. Yep. All right, so we got that. All right, okay. what's next? You don't want to get your table dirty with that. Well, what's the difference? All right, good. Um, next, I, I cooked up some, um, yeah, we can't here. have this sauce. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right. Then we'll we'll here, put it down. I'll get the uh, tablecloth yeah, all dirty. All right, so let's table. go here. Uh, so this is um, ground sausage. This right, is so mild. Ground sausage. You could do mild or hot if you like hot. All right, so we're um, going to take this. What did you put in? That in there, too. All right, what did you put in it? Nothing. Nothing. Just, just ground, ground sausage. sausage. All right, so let's it take up. it, dump That's it right. in. And if you want to, you could add a little red pepper flake to it too. If you want to add. My stomach can't take the. Red I know that. Anymore. I didn't put it in yeah, just for you because I knew your stomach is. Oh, yeah, I got all kinds of issues with the stomach. Right. Right. All right. So we got so this that's here in there. there. All right. So that's all set. And then um, the sauce is a very simple. Um, it's a browned butter sauce. So you just put butter in a pan. How many and sticks of butter? This was three sticks of butter. Three we sticks of butter. We may not need it's it. It's a heart all. attack waiting to happen. We may not need it all. All right. So what are and, we gonna? And fresh sage. And fresh and, sage. Yep. And then I don't know what that um, is. sage is an herb that you would use a lot of times. It's in stuffing, seasoning. Stuffing. Okay. And you put that in here, and I'm just Never gonna do this because I'm. I'm not sure we need all of it, but you want to okay. get all those sage leaves in there. Get the sage. Yeah, it looks like leaves yes. from a plant. Or yes, something. and they're very, very flavorful. And I left them whole, but you don't have to. You can you cut don't. them up. No, nope, okay. you can cut them up if you want well, to. Wow, you know, so we'll holes get them so in there. So Matt can pick them out later. <laughs> I always cook stuff to torture him. <laughs> all right, so we got all, all right. this in here. Yep, and all then right. we're going to use most of that butter sauce. We'll okay, so we're going to stir so this up. Or... In. Let me see how much. So dump it in. Don't make a mess. Make a mess. All right. All right. Stir that first. All right, let's stir it up here. And we got all our pasta and yeah. I also have um, stuff going this is on some here. reserved pasta water Take that I look at this. Wow. That I boiled the pasta in. You can see there at home. Yeah. And that just there. this helps to make the sauce. All right. So, so I'm, I'm just going to add a little bit of that because that's got good flavor in it too. And that just flavor. helps to make the sauce nice. All right. So we're we may need stirring more. up here. Yep. Yep. And add a little more right, of the butter. Add a little more butter in there. Get you the can butter. See, you in need it. You need that butter. Stirring and mixing nice. Yep, all right, good. so okay. We got this all in here. Perfect. Now I'm gonna this, add got all the leaves here. Yeah, that's all the sage. All right, so we got all this in. Now I'm gonna put in fresh ground black pepper. And you want I always like a really coarse grind for anything with pasta like this. Yes. So you want plenty of that. <clears throat> plenty right? of black pepper. Plenty of black pepper. All right, stir it up. Stir it up. All right, yep. so we're stirring nice. Yep. And while he's stirring that, I'm gonna add in squash. some sa uh, shaved Parmesan cheese and Sometimes I buy it and I shave it with a um, yeah, one potato, of those little, oh, potato oh, peeler. Oh, you can yeah, shave it all, sure. right? Yep. But this one was already done, and I had to work today, so. Well, we could. I'm just going to yeah. add this right in We're here. Working. We're working. We're working people. We're working people. Yeah, that's no, why this is a good dinner. It's right. easy. It's this quick. Could, right. This could be something that I could right. do myself. You could do this, and you can do any type of squash. Uh, would scare me, but you know. You like the squash. Right. You could do any kind of tortellini. You could do a sausage tortellini. Yeah, right, right. Uh, you could also do a butter, um, a right. pumpkin so tortellini ravioli. So there it is. Let's show ravioli. it to the people there. There you go, yeah. right there. All right. All right, and then we're going to put it right on the So plate. now we're going to put it on the little serving pretty. bowl. Yeah. All right, we're going to dump this dump on there. Dump that right out there, yep. Don't be scared, chickens. Well, well, you got it. Well, I don't want to make a mess. You just got it all over the it's table again. It's too late, although you already made a mess, Ow. remember? <laughs> I guess I'll be changing this tablecloth today. We already were going to change the tablecloth. All right. All right, so we Perfect. got this set here. Yep, and then on the top of this, we get that straight yep, on there. Get that right there. We're nice. going to add a little more of the fresh ground parmesan. Okay, very nice. Okay. Wow. And fresh, a little more fresh pepper on the top. Fresh pepper. And have enough fresh pepper. That's right. We want to make it presentable here. Right. We got the leaves showing. Yes. For Rachel Ray, of yes. course. Yes. Right. And then we could have this with a nice loaf of uh, Italian bread. Nice little Italian bread. bread. Put a little of those little seasoning on the yeah. side, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen, right there. This is the uh, sausage tortellini alla pomatier. Or Very chicken. Nice. Or chicken. Right. You can use chicken or sausage, chicken right? Chicken or sausage, right, so whatever you like. And if you want to do plain pasta, you don't even need to do the tortellini. All right, so let's do no, a little right. taste test. you got to try a little of the butternut I've got the squash on right, there. I've got the squash. Don't worry. There you go. I got the sage. Yep. I'm gonna mix it all in. All yeah. right, so let's try it here. Cheers. And this would go nice with a little uh, white wine or red wine. You could wow. do either one. Mmm. 
Very good. good. Very tasty. Oh, good. Excellent. I'm glad you like it. Squash is good. Sausage is good. Right. And you could mm. do a little hot sausage. It's up to you. Very tasty. Cheers. So this is a very quick meal you could make. I could make. You could do this. Yeah. So what I like, people making these recipes, write into us on our Live With Matt Facebook page. We want to share people's experiences here. We're going to come to you once a month here on the show. And you're going to be back. Yes. We're going to be doing something at Halloween time, so yes. get ready for that. Something fun. Yeah, so thank you very much, Nancy. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for being here. We'll see everybody next week. Have a good week, everyone. Bye. Very good.